toad in the boat, bro. I never can you see it. I, I ain't worried about being on camera. I'm worried about uh, getting fish in the boat. That's a good one, dude. Yeah, that's you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, right there in the work. I ain't such a fish. You don't even want to catch. I'm whooping his butt. Hey y'all, it's been a while since I've been out here with you. I've had a pretty busy summer. Katie and I welcomed their son into the world on June 25th, and the month leading up to it was pretty eventful. Thank you all for your prayers. Baby Jay is happy and healthy, as is Katie. I can't help but praise God for the blessing he has been in our lives. The events that Katie and I experienced up to the moment he entered the world made Katie and I closer to one another and truly gave us our first opportunity as a couple to have to rely completely on him in a scary situation we weren't prepared for and to watch him grow our relationship with him through it and deliver us out of it. Katie was induced and had an emergency C-section because Jay's heart rate was dropping. Katie and I prayed together constantly through the whole process. The three of us were so helpless in that scenario and that is the way God truly shows us that he is in control and that we need him to lead us through it, whatever that scenario is. And that is going to be today's discussion topic, how God puts us in these situations to cause us to rely on him and see how powerful and in control he truly is. Most people that belong to this world think they are in control of their lives and their situations, and when things don't go their way, they get upset. They think they've lost their way they turn to alcohol, drugs, when, when they lose something or their situation is something they didn't prepare for. If that's you, I want you to know that our sovereign God is in control of everything and is giving you this opportunity to hear his word and to turn to him, letting go of all your worries and fears. Scripture says, furthermore, because we are united with Christ, we have received an inheritance from God. For he chose us in advance and he makes everything work out according to his plan. Ephesians 1.11 we serve a God who is in control of his plan, and I promise you that. Jesus shows us in Matthew chapter 11 how he's going to reveal himself to us. At that time, Jesus prayed this prayer. O oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleases you to do it this way. My Father has entrusted everything to me. No one truly knows the Son except the Father, and no one truly knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal Him. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. Matthew eleven twenty five through 30 Jesus says he... And the salvation that comes from him is being revealed to the childlike. What does that mean? A child is 100% dependent on its parents. Complete dependency. They have nothing of their own to cling to but their parent. And that is how we must be on Jesus. And what does God do in this day and age to make us that way? He puts us in a situation that we have to rely solely on him. Not doctors, not professional opinions, nothing we own or think we can control. For Katie and I, that was our hospital experience two months ago. When doctors told us Jay was struggling and, was not, and it was not going the way we had wanted or anticipated, we prayed for his hand and his peace over the moment and over Jay's health, knowing that nothing Katie or I could do 
would change anything. And when we let go of everything else in that moment, call out to God in prayer and trust in the work he is going to do according to his will and purpose, the second part of this message is the gift that he blesses us with. And I'll read that part again. Then Jesus said, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. When God brings us through that storm, we emerge with a stronger faith and reliance on him than we could have ever imagined going into it. And when the Spirit brings peace in that storm, it's a peace that cannot be taken away. It supersedes all explanation and circumstance. And God is glorified in that moment because those who aren't believers recognize that there's something different about your life. Just like God told Isaiah about the nation of Israel, I have refined you, but not as silver is refined. Rather, I have refined you in the furnace of suffering. I will rescue you for my sake. Yes, for my own sake. I will not let my reputation be tarnished. And I will not share my glory with idols. Isaiah 48, 10 through 11. This promise remains the same for those who belong to him now. We are refined and made stronger through suffering. And when we turn to him to get us through it, again, Peter writes, These trials will show that your faith is genuine. It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Through your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. 1 Peter 1, seven. Thank you guys for sticking with me today. I hope this helps one of you on your walk with Christ and encourages someone to rely on the Lord in their time of suffering. If you do not yet know Christ and are wanting to experience His peace and rest that He offers to all who would come to Him but aren't sure how to do so, Please reach out in the comments uh, or on Instagram or Facebook. I'd love to answer your questions. Or you can go watch my Portal Connor Texas Slam video. I explain how to do so in it. Thanks again for watching, and please stay tuned for more Fishing with the Mission. There he is. I think he can come up and get that. <laughs> Did you see that freaking red dot? <laughs> right down to the red dot and he stopped it. There he is. Did you see me yank him out of there? I wasn't watching you. Big red dot on the bottom.